I am Kelsey Law with Soccer One, talking to Carlos Bocanegra. How are you? Good, thanks for having me. Great. Um, you are in the process of starting the expansion team, the Atlanta United FC. Yep. What's it been like to be a part of that team from the very beginning till now and building that process? Yeah, no, it's, it's been a really cool process to be a part of, you know. Um, you don't get to start up a company, let alone start up a sports franchise or be a part of starting up a sports franchise in your career very often. So um, it's great, you know, anything from helping design the training ground to the locker room in the stadium to helping bring in the coaching staff, our medical department, and then obviously the players on the field. So it's really cool um, to have a vision and hopefully you can look back in 10, 15 years and you've left your mark on on soccer here in America, in Atlanta, and then hopefully left your legacy as well. Right. So what do you anticipate um, your inaugural draft? How are you preparing for that for next year? Yeah, it was good to go through it this year. You know, we were down in Florida for a week watching mm -hmm. the Combine, um, really just getting a rhythm of, you know, okay, they have the games this day, it's meetings the next day, games, meet with the players, just kind of to see how the whole thing works. Right. And then we flew up here with all the staff uh, from all the other teams. And, um, you know, really just, okay, where are we going to sit? You know, what goes on? What's the right. kind of day-to-day, you know? So that, that was really the biggest thing because we'll have the top two pick, one, you know, first or second pick, mm -hmm. right, in the draft. So, um, it, you know, it, it makes it things a little bit more straightforward, I guess. Do you, are there any players that you already have your eye on that you're scouting No, I mean, out? it's so early and things change so much in the, in the soccer world, right? So... Um, it was really nice to just take it all in and, and you know we watched the players this year as if we would uh, would have been drafting mm -hmm. so we just did kind of a dry run to get 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 in the kind of the flow and this is your first time as a technical director how has that process been for you yeah it's been good it's been a learning curve you know mm -hmm. uh, I was fortunate enough to not have to step into a team that was already competing right and you know make trades and do this thing from from day one so had about six to eight months to really familiarize myself with the league, how trades work, the allocation process, and just kind of generally what goes on. Mm -hmm. um, and so that's been nice. And then we brought in Paul from Orlando, uh, who's great on the soccer oper operations side. So he'll be working alongside me and doing uh, with contracts and you know negotiations and, and things like that, which is great. And then Darren Neal is our president and was the executive director of football mm -hmm. at Tottenham right. before he came here. So for myself, a younger technical director learning. Um, he's been through it, right? So I can lean on him from time to time and that, that's been nice. So it's a really good balance, um, but it's it's been been a great process. Do you anticipate, what, what do you think it's gonna be like developing players after the draft for a new <coughs> team versus a team that's already been established and has some players that have played together? What do you, what do you mean developing, what do you mean? Like, how do you build the the synergy of a new team when you're all the players are coming together for the oh, first time okay. versus culturally? You mean? Yeah. Yes, that's going to be a challenge. That's going to be a big challenge of ours because we'll have 28 guys that basically meet for the first time in preseason, right? So right. all the other teams have had you know 10, 12 guys the core of their team around. So that's one of our major challenges, mm -hmm. right? We'll try and do some stuff with the USL affiliate this year and. Um, Hopefully we can send a handful of guys mm -hmm. to start. At least they get to know each other. Right. When we hire our coach, we'll send him out there from time to time to work with them. Um, our academy players potentially will be able to, to train and play with the USL affiliate. We'll send our sports science guy out there. So we're going to try and do little things like that to you know include it and put our culture on a few of the guys. So when we come into the locker room in 2017, there's a few guys that know how right. things work. Yeah, because the draft is, is in January typically, and then you start in March 2017. So it's a really short window to build that synergy. Yeah, yeah. You have about you know, five weeks to, before the season starts. Well, it's great talking to you, and I wish you all the best Thank of luck. You. And I, I know you guys are going to be great. Thank you. Happy to have a team in Atlanta. Cool. Yeah, we're excited as well. Thanks. Yeah, great.